Howdy boys, it's NPC and today we're back in Forza Horizon 5 with another top tier challenge and in this episode we're going to be doing the best German two-door car for under $100,000. Once we buy our cars, we're going to get to use the remaining money to upgrade them and then take them on a series of challenges and at the end of the challenges we're going to tally up the points and see who our winner is. So, let's buy our cars. Let's okay. do it. Uh, yeah, so buy the car, uh, they're all in the 90 grand range and then you can use the rest of the money and... and put it into the cars okay, okay. okay. up Bye. to 100k mm. uh there's a lot of really good german two doors in this game actually i have two in mind right now i think so where did it go factory color boy yeah okay i i've i've found my car i got my car as well well uh we will meet back at um the highway i guess sounds great okay i'm gonna take this delivery just so we can get that mag gray because that looks super nice so boom there we go and now it is time to upgrade our car so we have 10k left um my first mistake i made last time was not upgrading the engine so that is something we're definitely going to have to do. So from our 10K, that's gonna be minus 1800 for the engine upgrade. Do we upgrade the fuel system as well? I actually don't know if that's something that we're supposed to, uh, to upgrade, but might as well. Um, I think the camshaft we need to upgrade in order to do some tuning upgrades. We could also do a weight reduction. Is that is that something we want? Or do we want the springs and dampeners? Oh, it looks like we can't do both. Okay, maybe we do the stock fuel system and then that'll give us 2200 back. And then maybe we can do both the other upgrades we were looking at. So that's the springs and dampeners. So let's just go ahead with the race one. And then we could do a weight reduction as well. We could do, we could even do this one, just make it an S1 car. Let's do it, let's do it. So we still have $600 left after that. Is there anything that we can add? Okay, yeah, not that. <laughs> that is far too much. Damn, everything's so expensive. For 600, there's really nothing that I can upgrade? Okay, well that's that's really unfortunate then. Not a single thing that I can upgrade. Or, I, you know what I could do is decrease the weight reduction, put a little more weight back on, and then go for some other type of upgrade, and that way we really make use of our credits, but... I think I'm just gonna keep it, keep it simple for myself. I would not say I'm the most Forza savvy person. I also am trying an Xbox controller for the first time. So my controls are all like messed up because I'm I'm typically used to uh, fighting game controllers with the Japanese layout and it's, it's just all different. Oh my God. Let's lower our tire pressure a little bit. Gearing we can't do. Sport or race transmission upgrades. Improves handling by decreasing grip. I think I think this is fine. Can I adjust tire width? Is that something I can do here or no? Okay, I think uh, that's all I can do for the upgrades and tuning. So, let's go meet the boys. Oh, <gasps> NPC. NPC. Hello. Hello, Hello, sir. How are you doing, NPC? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what I did to my car. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. I can't either. This is gonna be awesome. What are you in? Oh, a C63 AMG. Ooh, hot stuff. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Oh, you look like you're having fun with it. Yeah. Must have a lot of power in that. Thing. Must have a lot of power in that thing. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's a cool livery. Uh, I like that livery. That's really sick. The, the, I've seen a Mercedes in real life with that exact same livery. It's a stock uh, livery option. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks super good in the matte gray. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, nice. I think it's like one of the first editions of the C63 or something. That's cool. Yeah. Very nice. Um, well, uh, how I, I've already asked Twingo, but uh, we can recap. Uh, how much How much was, you, was your car NPC? How much did you pay for it? $90,000. 90? Oh, so you had mm. two grand more than Twingo. No, two grand cheaper. Or two grand less. Yeah, or yeah, two grand more. Two grand more money. To spend on that. He had to, yeah. yes. Yes, he had two grand more. So what? what is this, the M? Yeah, so what kind of upgrades did you uh, go for in that thing? That's that's the M4. M4 and then mm -hmm. this is the RS5. Five. Let's see, what did I go for? I upgraded the engine. <laughs> I did a weight reduction. Nice. Oh, yeah. And I forgot what else, honestly. I think all you need more power more money i yep. think you've probably got the most horsepower here i'm just gonna go ahead and guess it okay i have um 566 horsepower okay Damn. yeah you got more than i do how much, how much do you guys have how much do you have Twinger? i have 445 oh okay that was with a little upgrade okay 
Um, I have 532. Ooh. So all of our cars are, are very similar. Yeah. Falling a bit uh, behind. What uh, What is everyone's weight sitting at? 3166. Kilograms Light. or pounds? pounds? That's pounds. That's pounds. That's I'm in pounds. kilograms. I'm, Let me convert it. Yeah. Let me convert it to you. 3166. I'm at 2733. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm at 3,822. Holy moly! Damn. Damn. That's with Damn. that's with a slight weight reduction. I will just say that. Okay. Oh my god. I did a full uh, weight reduction. I'm a light boy. Yeah, yeah you're same. definitely a light individual. Um, well, I, I guess uh, I guess we can go ahead and start things off with the drag race, boys. Let's do it. All right. Alrighty. Fun. Awesome. That M4 is really light. Oh boy. Yeah. Quite a bit. 400 pounds lighter than the C63. C63. The C63 is 700 pounds lighter. Than my car. God damn. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, you can see you can see the weight in the class of my car. <laughs> oh yeah, it's holding you back. Yeah, it's definitely holding me back I a lot. I get up pretty high. Yeah, you got up really high. I'm All right, well, here we go. Let's see the how the uh, my way. Perfect. See how the all-wheel drive helps. Okay, significantly. Quite a bit. Very nice, and and it's not going to keep helping now. Oh, it's... we're creeping up. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, it's not going to help for long. Black Mamba's Come coming through. Oh my god, I might hold off the C63. Oh, it'll Come be close. On! It's going to be so close, bro. Go, Come bro! On. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is so close. Oh no my way. god. No oh, way. He's going to get it. No, he's not. He's not going to get me. Yes! No! Yes! Did I... yes! No yes! way! Yes! No way! Yes! Yeah, second, second oh, time. It's gonna be so close. Oh my oh, god! Man. Literally two hundreds point. Yeah, two hundreds of a second. <laughs> Holy! Oh my god! Insane. Uh, yeah, that was close. The M4 is gonna be a force to be reckoned with in this. Oh, yeah. I, I have a feeling. Oh yeah. I oh pulled out God. of the the festival like after after upgrading, and I was like, "Oh man, my car accelerated slow." That the M4 is crazy considering you have what 445 horse. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. quite a bit of torque too. I get I do get quite a bit of wheel spin, but launch yeah. control is helping me. Power a lot. power to weight right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. uh that's that's that. All right, here we are at the circuit race next it's event. Circuit race. <sighs> Um, did y'all upgrade your brakes this time or no? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Good luck. I didn't even have it as an option. It's not fair. <laughs> I don't know. Did I? I, I? I did upgrade my brakes. I remember what happened last time. Is ABS auto braking system? Uh, automatic braking system. Uh, yeah. It, it's not automatic though. It's Anti-lock uh, braking or, or, system. Yeah, yeah, it's oh. anti-lock. Yeah, yeah, anti-lock. I don't know why I said automatic. Fully automatic brakes. Yeah, fully. Uh, it's like Mario Kart turns for you. Alright. Can't catch me. No, I oh, can't. Oh man, that car is fast. That thing is ridiculous, yeah. It's scary. You gotta break early. I know Definitely that. not the most stable. Ooh, I'm getting a rerun of last episode. Nice. Oh Glad boy. I'm really thankful that I upgraded my brakes. That is the one thing that saved me on that descent. Oh boy. Got his ass. Oh man. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an Audi. Control. It's definitely an Audi. It oh, understeers man. hard. I, I just have too much power in my car. <laughs> this is... Oh, oh God. Oh, man. Gotta layer the throttle a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. R RS5 is doing God's work right now. Holy. Oh. Oh, oh. the inside. Oh, my God. Did you I'm, hit the checkpoint? I did hit it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Genius. Oh, no. Oh, man. That was interesting. You definitely missed it on my screen. Oh, it was so close. The wind pushed it in my direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm not having a great time. Oh, I'm so say, sad to hear that. I'm pretty impressed with the Audi. I, I actually thought it was going to be really awful. Looking like it handles well. Doing all right for being 3,800 pounds. Absolute behemoth of a vehicle. Oh my god. I don't think the M4 has the uh, the grip for this. Not in the back. It's pretty easy to slide it out. Yeah. I think you might have gotten a little too light there, buds. Maybe. Maybe it, it needs a spoiler. Maybe you need to stiffen the suspension Ooh. or something. Wider tires. Oh, I'm, I'm going to catch you here, though. For a brief yeah. second. I'm going to keep you behind me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nope, you're not taking that inside line. I know you oh, wouldn't. I think I am. You wouldn't dare. Oh, that was one oh, lap. Oh, oh, oh shh. Sh oh. I don't know if I'm gonna finish. Uh oh. Oh no. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, shit. That's, that's brutal. Tough. That is brutal. Oh, man. Hey, you tried. That's all you can say. You did your best. Okay. Best is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, now it's time for the best looking car challenge. So oh, very nice. you might be able to redeem yourself here. Guys, I paused my recording again on accident and left it running through the best looking challenge. A quick recap, Blingo thinks that the uh, the RS5 is the best looking of the three. And which one did you put last? Uh, the C63. C63. And then Harmon and I think it's in the reverse order. So uh, of course, Twingo was outvoted and the C63 was deemed first, M4 second, and RS5 third for best looking challenge. Putting our point totals at five for Harmon and I and eight for Twingo. Beautiful. Ooh. Are you at five? You're not at five. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'm at five. We just got there in different. We're both at five. Yeah, I, we just got there in different five. ways. Oh, yeah. it just feels like my five was so much more unearned. <laughs> <laughs> you picked a good looking car. I'll give you yeah. That. yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Well, we'll do the uh, we'll do the sprint race. Mm-hmm. We're good. Yeah. Boy. It'll be a long one. I am excited. Smile. Oh, it goes. Oh, I know where it goes. It goes to the top of the mountain. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. This is it. I remember now. Up the mountain. Oh boy. Yes. Oh Good luck, boy. gentlemen. Oh, I'm going to get smoked in the corners there. My car is so slow off the line. Well, just don't let it get down to zero oh. and you'll, you'll be all right. Keep it in a higher gear, maybe. Oh, man. Here we go. Good luck, gentlemen. Goodbye. The Audi is leaving, departing. BMW's coming. I'm sure it is. He's hungry for Audi. Mmm. I can't wait for the memes. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder how many of the viewers have seen the really cringe Audi versus BMW versus Mercedes memes on Instagram. Cringe. Those hey. things fuel me. <laughs> I'm addicted me to too. them. You're right, actually. I forgot. I am too. No. My bad. Oh my I god. Spoke. Damn, no, no, you're no. hauling ass in the Mercedes right now. Oh. This is this is where I gotta make up all my time. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. I might make one of those memes after this. <laughs> I got a great idea for one. Really? <laughs> you know those ones where it's like, uh, it's kind of relevant to this uh, topic here actually, because it's like those ones that have a lot of weight and a lot of power, and then it's a BMW with a little bit less, but it's a lot faster, and it's like, that's cute at like yeah, the bottom panel yeah, or something. Yeah. Oh, God. Golden. Yeah, I love it. It's awesome. It's the best. No! Oh, it's over. It's over. I'm oh, over. man. It's not that. It's not that over. Contact? Yeah, I drew a little contact on the NPC there. No, oh, I lost all my speed. It's over. Okay, you can get some back here. Oh my god, the understeer is unreal. This car is horrific at understeering. It is so bad for that. I wish Audi would oh, make a rear wheel oh, drive no. version of one of these cars. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, yeah, that's a sharp corner. That would that be cool. They love their Quattro, though. They do, no! yeah. Did I hit it? I can't, I can't really blame them, but... A lot of rain in Germany. Oh, man. I wonder how far your power to weight ratio can carry you, because at the end of the day, I do just have more power. So, like, what, do you think that I could actually pass you on a long enough road? On a test bowl? Maybe. I really wonder. Oh, my God. Turn left. Oh, my God. The understeer is not good. A lot of turns coming up. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm not going to have much fun here. I have a lot of wheel spin. Oh, You're going to have a lot of fun here. You just might not do very well. True. <laughs> I've got a lot of understeer, so I'm going to have no fun, but I might do okay. Then Aaron's just not going to have fun because he's just not going to have fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Mercedes is fighting him on every opportunity. Let this be a lesson, Aaron. Power might not be everything you need. Last time, power was everything Oh, God. So I was like, this time... Power Thank you. must be everything I need. Yeah. Lesson learned. What do you even upgrade to improve your acceleration? Uh, you need better tires, mostly. Throttle control. Driver mod. That's what you need, <laughs> pal. Yes, yes, yes. No. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him. We're going uphill too. The Quattro is just doing awesome. This is Great an intense hill race. Oh man, you just pull on me so easy once your wheels oh, stop yeah. spinning. It's brutal, man. I just have to bog it down in third a little bit. I just gotta use the handbrake. Power slide a bit. Get rid of that understeer. Eliminate the understeer. Turn that front end in. Oh man, you just pulled on me so hard there, bro. That's crazy. Uh, 
Oh, don't go off the hill. A very good mid-range acceleration. Hella MRA. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe the understeer on the Audi. It's actually horrific. Like, I feel like it couldn't be this bad in real life. There's no way. Like, in Forza though, and like most games, I feel like the understeer on all-wheel drive cars is just unreal. Does understeer mean the wheel is? Oh, f I got like, distracted. The wheels like oh, locked. No. Yes, yes, no. yes, yes, yes. Restart me. Restart the, me. The wheels, Please. the wheels like locked out, but but the car's just not turning. It's going straight. Yeah, so the wheel is like turned, but it's doesn't still have going any straight. Grip. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's not that it doesn't have grip, it just doesn't. Well, I guess it is mostly that it doesn't have grip. But like it's, it's slipping, right? Yeah, it's just, it's it's not turning. Like the car just is not turning because the tires, or the, because the wheels are turned. Very frustrating. Oh my god, that corner is just sharp. It'd also help if I put a diff in this car, actually. I'm just now kind of thinking about that. I didn't have it in the budget, but would have definitely helped a lot. I don't know what you would change in that. Put put more of the no, power to the rear no! wheels. <laughs> no, I was so close. Oh, that's not even the last turn. You used it the other race. Oh. The Audi is going to do it. Un unbelievable. If you didn't mess up, it would have been very close, but I think you would have won. I definitely would have. I don't know how I missed that. that those corners are annoying to say the least. And there we go across the line, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so close. I'm so close. I should I should just ram into him from the side. Like, you should. Oh. You should hit him. You should hit him. <laughs> Here we oh. go. Damn, you guys are close. Yeah, you were catching up at the end. Damn. Oh, mm. man. What a race. What a race. It's Good stuff. Very fun. Good stuff, gentlemen. Well, there you have it. Uh, I have won the sprint race, so the Audi finally won something. That was uh, that was great. Awesome. Twingo came second, correct? I came second. Okay, so the points right now, I'm at eight, you're at 10, and NPC is at six. six. Okay, all right. Um, well, now, of course, as with always, it is time to discuss which of the cars is the best value for the money. I think it's hard to argue that it's not the BMW M4. Yep, hard to argue. Yeah, yes. I think it, it is the M4. It is the M4. M4 is yeah. a top Crazy. performer. It's it's insane, and it's ninety two thousand, so it's three thousand cheaper than mine. It's two grand more than the Mercedes, but uh, the M four is three hundred kilos lighter than both the Audi and the Mercedes stock. So that automatically is a massive advantage. That's what is that in pounds? Six hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah. Well, could we could we do a little bit of math here? Actually, could I could I get some information from you? Yes. Uh, what is your weight? Um, on a stock on a stock vehicle, I will tell you because I have another one. Uh, eighteen ten. Eighteen ten kilograms. I'm trying to figure out the pounds per horsepower. Or what's your horsepower? Oh, oh, on my current car. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, my horsepower on my current car is five thirty two, and my weight is seventeen thirty four kilograms. 1734. You have 0. 0.3 horsepower per pound, if I did this correctly. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. Okay. That sounds about right. Let's yep. see. Mine is 445 for 2733. That's 0. 0.16? Yours is, that's kilograms, isn't it? That's kilograms, yes. Okay, so I should do 1740. That 30. was my kilograms. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, that's that's not it. 0. 0.35. Okay, so, so you have 0. 0.5 horsepower more. Yeah. What it's is mean, big difference? Yeah, it is. What is what is it? Well, what is Aaron's? Yes, Aaron's. How much how much does your car have horsepower? Right now or stop? Right, right now. now. 3166. 3166? Yeah. Pounds. Yeah. AG to pounds. And what is what is your horsepower in 567? Oh, this that was horsepower per kilogram. So it, it'd be double that. God damn it. Okay. Uh, whatever. <laughs> you have a better kilograms? you have a better power to weight ratio than I do. Yes. And, well, and yeah. NPC. And NPC. Yeah. For that matter. Yeah, so that that does that does make the difference. So, so the M4 has a much better power to weight ratio than both of these cars. And it stock, I believe, is A class 782. The RS5 is 750, and the C63 is 755 stock. So yep. it's automatic the best um, it's eight thousand dollars short of a uh, hundred thousand so it's it's easily the best car of, of the three second place i almost think that it's actually the c63 yeah i can see that uh, 
driver issue mod. Driver mod, yeah. I, I think the Audi is horrible when it comes to understeer, and it's also the most expensive of all of them with the second most horsepower and the most weight. It is just pretty slow, isn't it? It, it is pretty slow. Like, of the car, I mean, it's got 444 horsepower, and the M4 has 431. And the C63 is 503. So your horsepower figure to begin with is a lot better with the C63. And if you honestly just did a full weight reduction on the C63 and added power, you can compete with the M4 pretty much. That's what I did. I think it needs less tires. power and more. It probably needs tires. Yeah. yeah. A bit and of suspension, can... some damping tuning. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of thing. But I do think that the RS5 is actually the worst of the three. Um, when it comes to value for the money. It is the most expensive. Just because I'm a relatively good driver, uh, I was able to use it effectively-ish. But I think that in the hands of people that don't play Forza a lot like I do, it's not a very good car. Well, so yeah, I, I think, I think that- The understeer is probably like a big focus. I the understeer it's is- It's a decent handling car horrific. though, isn't it? It's pretty like balanced through the corners, I'm it's, sure. It's not horrible through the corners. You just can't turn. Yeah. So I, and I would take oversteer over understeer any day of the week. So very true. That's what uh, you get with the BMO W heel. Yes, and I, I think the C63. It's just a better car. It looks better than the RS5. It handles better than the RS5. It's got more horsepower than the RS5. It's it's just a better car, and it's the cheapest of the three because it's only ninety grand. It's got to go to the C63. Oh, I'll take uh, I'll take my one point, and I and I will leave. I I believe that puts me at nine points. The BMW m4 is at 13 and the c63 is also at nine am i nine i thought it was eight you yeah. were at six and then oh and oh sorry yes you are at eight yes that's correct that is correct yes uh nice. so well there you have it um uh, that's it that my friends is gonna wrap it up for our best german two-door for a hundred thousand dollars in forza horizon 5 your overall winner being the m4 c63 uh second for value although uh harmon did play second in terms of points in the rs5 but drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video comment down below and let us know of other ideas you would like to see for the top gear challenges and if you guys are liking the forza top gears as well sub to the boys all their channels linked in the description below sub to my channel if you guys are new we'll have top gears coming out every sunday and that's about it so take it i'll catch you boys in the next one Peace.